Okay, now this is a fascinating tasting, the same producer from two different uh, appellations right beside each other, a great difference in price, a difference in vintage, um, but they're from the Cab de Toyn who would have a great reputation, both, I mean Hermitage, I think a lot of people know it's one of the great names in mm. France, but for me one of the great values in the Northern Realm is Crow's Hermitage. Completely, completely. So as you say, John, two cedars and comparing, you know, two different quality levels. But the Crow's Hermitage definitely always, I think, gives Hermitage a run for its money in terms of everyday value. Absolutely. And I think it's, it's fantastic for people if they want to taste a Shiraz from Australia mm. versus a Syrah. This is a great tasting to do because, Absolutely. you know, this is a very approachable style mm. of Northern Rome. Absolutely. Um, and Cap de Tan, I mean, they are one of the top cooperatives in France. Yep. And they control, as you say, a huge swathe of the Crows Hermitage Appalachian. So controlling the quality in the vineyards, as well as what's happening in the cellar, I'm sure that's partly why they're so successful yeah. in yeah. terms of the wines that they make. Um, so a, a very interesting tasting. Yes. A Syrah tasting. A Syrah tasting. Serious Syrah tasting. No, I think straight away you get Northern Syrah has this violet touch it does, to it. It does, definitely. Um, it's uh, fragrant, that is. Fragrant and, um, as you say, violets, but really black fruit profile on yeah, the nose. Yeah, dark, dark fruits. Lovely and spicy. The fruit has a sweetness and juiciness to it, mm. but still vibrancy. Yeah. Nice acidity, very cleansing, nothing cloying about it at all. No. Tannins are present, but integrated, and the oak is nicely integrated as well. I think Beautifully it, balanced. It is. It's beautiful. I think it's helped by the fact that 2015 it's a good vintage. was a great vintage, mm. I suspect, in the Northern Road. Absolutely. But you get the, the sweet, sour thing always mm. in good vintages in the Northern mm. Road, because you, you're right, the ripe black fruits, but there's always just that little savoury mm. touch of black olives and licorice. The tannins are there, mm. but they're ripe tannins. Um, but what I always think is that has a lovely elegance to it. Um, it. It does, and the freshness would give you an appetite, wouldn't it? It would, it just, yeah. It's very yeah. refreshing and yeah. delicious. Yeah. So Hermitage now, a step up in price. So mm. I think the, the Cap de Tan Cruz Hermitage is around €20 Euro a bottle. I think that's very good value, mm. that. I really do. Um, and particularly if you are a Burgundy fan, as I am, and that's getting more and more expensive. Yes, that's a good point. That is, mm. uh, it's a lighter wine again, mm. it's a fresher wine. So it's a good alternative mm. to people to start thinking of. It is, and to me that's absolutely um, winter's evening, warm fire, something nice to eat. Absolutely. And that bottle of wine would be mm. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot more powerful than the Hermitage and the yeah, nose, certainly. Yeah. Really complex. The violets are there, but you can. there's more savoury character, there's more spice. There's a meatiness mm. almost to it. I mean, this it is, is. It's one of the great names in French winemaking. Possibly not as well known these days as it used, used to be. Mm. People say Bordeaux and mm. Burgundy, but Hermitage, apparently they used to send it over to Bordeaux to improve some of the wines. Oh, there. really? Did they? Apparently it's... Right. One, this is centuries ago. But it does have that lovely grip and intensity mm. and tannic structure to it. Mm. Um, Powerful. Yeah. Violets on the palate this time yeah. as well as the nose. Yeah. Yeah. And um, the oak is much more present. Yeah. Ideally, mm. you would lay this down for a couple of years. I suspect if mm. you if you wanted to drink it now, I would decant it. I think that's sort of good. Half an hour Absolutely. beforehand and let it swirl it around in the glass I because it's, it's got the the length, it's got the concentration mm. and the structure. But you're right; you do get a little bit of oak, mm. um, and the tannins are quite they are substantial there. But I mean, interesting. It's thirteen percent alcohol, mm. so. If you are looking for something that isn't, you know, 14 and a half, which yep. obviously can be challenging sometimes, then the 13% is quite appealing as well for some people, I would have thought. Absolutely. Because yeah. there's an elegance yeah. really that goes with the 13%. Yeah. 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 Mm. Well, the Northern Rhone and Hermitage in particular, I've started collecting because 
well, I say collecting, putting a, a side a mm. bottle or two for a year or two, mm. um, because I think it, it does offer mm. great value. The Crow's Hermitage yes. at the entry level, mm. you don't keep that, but Hermitage, I've got a couple of mm. bottles now that I've kept for five years or mm. so. Um, they are fantastic. Yeah, they're drinking well, nicely now. Beautifully mm. now, yeah. And I think the thing with Crow's Hermitage is if you like Syrah, then you'll love Crow's Hermitage. Yes. Hermitage costs a lot yes. more money. But what the are we the Hermitage about? is in and around 55 a bottle. Okay, well that's... And um, at this time of year when you're looking to maybe have some nice steaks or winter yeah. casseroles or something, yeah. it would be the perfect wine. It's a treat, but really when you're um, drinking Hermitage, you're drinking one of, as you say, John, one of the most iconic wines, not just in France, but in the world. Yeah. And if you think that if you went to a rock concert, you might pay more than that for a ticket, then it's not well, yeah. too bad in yeah. terms of value. Or if you go out to a restaurant, you might find yourself paying that for a fairly ordinary mm. glass of wine, a bottle of wine, whereas you can have it at home. I love Hermitage in the Northern Rhone with game, roast game. With mm, some pheasant or a something. A lot of the shops are now mm. pheasant or mallard or mm. something like that. Sounds nice. Go very nicely with it. Come to your house for dinner. <laughs>